If you're wondering what timber doodling is, you are not alone. Better known as the American woodcock, the timber doodle is also known in some places as the bog sucker, the mud snipe, and even the Labrador twister. But whatever you want to call it, this football-sized member of the shorebird family puts on one of the most iconic early spring performances you'll find anywhere in eastern North America. Shortly after the snow melts off the fields and farmlands, American woodcocks migrate back from their wintering grounds in the southern U.S. and set up territories in shrubby fields in anticipation of the arrival of females. To advertise their territory, and to entice the females, male woodcocks put on an elaborate display right at dusk. At first, they pace on the ground, often walking in a tight circle, giving a loud peent sound. Then, after a few minutes of calling, they take off like a rocket into the sky. As they ascend, air whistles through little notches in their flight feathers as they flap, making a warbling trill that sounds higher and higher in pitch as the bird corkscrews its way hundreds of feet into the clouds. Then, as it reaches the top of its arc, the woodcock falls from the sky. His whistling wingtips start warbling and chirping like a flock of songbirds as he flutters towards the ground like a parachute, landing in almost the exact spot he took off from. After that, it's back to painting, and the whole show repeats again and again into the night. Want to see this show for yourself? Here are some easy timber doodling tips. First, find what ecologists would call an early successional meadow. That means a field that hasn't been mowed in several years and is starting to be reclaimed by shrubs and trees. Look for overgrown fields full of brush, small pine trees, and shrubby thickets. Next, visit that place right at dusk and listen for the peent sounds of the woodcock. They become more and more active the darker it gets, so don't worry if you don't hear anything right away. Then, listen carefully for the trills and warbles of the flight display when the painting stops. This means that the woodcock is high in the sky and flying fast. It can be really hard to see their acrobatics, so look for their silhouettes against the sky. Then it's time to sneak up on the woodcock. You don't want to approach it while it's calling on the ground, but as soon as it takes off, run to the place where you heard the bird's last peent, and then lie down or crouch next to a nearby bush or tree, and be very still and very quiet. Woodcocks tend to land within about 30 feet of where they took off. If the bird lands close by, you may see it fly by or hear the bird's feathers whooshing past you. Repeat the process getting closer and closer and only move when the bird is in the air. If you're lucky, the bird will eventually land right in front of you and you'll be able to watch his dance up close and personal. But remember, we don't want to disturb the bird. Only move right after the bird has taken off and as soon as you hear the flight call change to his descent pattern, it's time to crouch down and freeze. If the bird stops painting, then the jig is up. The bird is bothered by your presence and it's time for you to move away and find a different woodcock. Good luck and we hope you enjoy timber doodling this spring. Check out the description below this video for more about woodcocks and be sure to check out NBNC online for more natural history videos and activities.